Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Let's Not Really Play Rear Man 2. And this is the level I don't know where everything is at, and this is where it, start, where it starts to get confusing for me. Because I have no clue um, what happens after here. I, I know what happens after here, like, naturally, but it's sort of after about five years of stuff, you gotta, like, kind of brush up on it all. You know what I mean? Okay, shut up. Just shut up. Thank you. This game is so strange. It's so strange, but I loved it. Okay, let's see. Um, you can't go back there. The other thing in the PS2 version, which I have, you can go back there, and there would be like a little exit from there. You wouldn't use these portals. But the PS2 version sucks because it's not as long as the N64 version. Um, anyone who's played both versions would know, or watched this and then played the PS2 version would know. I won't say watch this, because it's not done yet. It's not done yet, I'm only in the second part, out of like a million. Because this is a mother freaking long game. It goes on here, I don't even know. Because I'm confused, yes. I am confused. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say this and throw it out there for Ubisoft if they're watching this. Um, these games are be a lot better than the Raving Rabbids shit they're making today. Um, bring back the old man, I'm just saying. Um, if they don't, I'm gonna, like, totally stop buying the games, because I just don't like those as much. It's not as classic. And Actually, to be honest, Raiding Rabbids, the Game Boy version, actually was a classic like this. I actually like the Game Boy version better. And when I find that, uh, GameCube thing, I'm doing a playthrough for that. And, there, no, all my Rayman things we play through is I've never actually beaten one of these games before. They're very long, usually, so. Or just crappy if they're not long. Because of the short ones, like PS2 and stuff. Yeah, I'll get over here. These guys are me so much. Help me drop this piece out. Okay. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Don't I see that? Is this one of those cages there? I just want to saw one. It's a PS2 version that has some of the cage back there. Okay, never mind. The PS2 version has the cage back there. The N64, the PS2 remake, I should say. Horrible, horrible remake. The N64 version was much better. It's like 10 times longer. There's like a hundred million levels. PS2 version were like three levels from the game. And they were only the most popular ones. Or the most important ones, really. That PS2 version sucks. Don't fret it. And don't talk like Super Mario 86. That might be copyright infringement. I'm not sure. I didn't do think it was, though. Okay, just saying. Maybe just cl have to climb all this stuff over again. Serious? Oh, never mind. Like I said, it's been a while. Well, clean out my brain. Because they these ones will give you say or say that uh checkpoint I think. The yellow ones are just for hundred percent. Red ones are for health. Blue is for air underwater, and purple is for swinging. That's just how it goes. <laughs> and silver ones will give you a new power, but you get those very rarely. You actually get those from like every boss you kill, I think. And they don't even have to win, you just tell them. A secret area. I almost forgot about this. Good thing I remembered right now, huh, fans? Okay. Let's eat while I wait. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I'll have to eat while you'll be able to use. I don't know why. Or gameplay, we all really. Heal me, we. Hmm. Where'd it go? Oh, that's where it goes. Yeah, you can move those if you're not careful, so. I win. Okay.
Okay, this part is gonna wait because these guys keep coming out, but I just like sit there and kill them all day, I don't know why. The thing is you question your childhood. <laughs> of all things to question my childhood, it was definitely that. Oh jeez. I'm really dumb off like that. PS2 version, like, of what you'd see. Got that real quick. You gotta be careful right here. If you're not lucky, you'll die. Nothing of my interest. Anyone who probably knows this game knows the red guys are invincible. And the purple ones and something else are the ones you can kill. I remember the ones were. The green ones are weak in the PS2 version. There are no green ones in this one, I don't think. I just really, I just should really stop referencing the PS2 version, shouldn't I? Okay. Oh wait, I want to get that. I check out this place. Make sure there's no one else in here. Okay. Like I said, I don't know this whole game completely, so. Too much let. What do we got here? Ah, uh, yes. The infamous method of making the enemies do all the work for ya. I love being lazy. Break it for me. Okay. Great. Whoa. 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 I'm not trying to get all those. I don't know what they're for, but if I do, something happens. Yeah, put it in the comments section if you know. What happens if you get all of those? Oh. I think there's actually a place where you can go without getting any damage, but I'm not gonna try finding it. There it is. Oh, it drops them right at you, I see. Okay. Right, that one. Yeah, and the PS2 version, you have to like walk a little barrel over there, it's kinda stupid. Okay, in the next episode, I will continue. Thank you for watching.